check this view out. Awesome, awesome view. Okay, so we're going to Ruby Lake. We're going to attempt Ruby Lake and see if we can accomplish this in a ridge line. We got 33s on, so we'll see if it's enough clearance. We'll see if we got enough power. So this is the welcoming road, which uh, so far looks pretty good. I think I can handle this. <laughs> First obstacle, think we can make it? I think we're good. get to some muddy spots. Yes.
Oh yeah, you're good. So we're gonna attempt this right here. Got some good good rocks right here. And we're gonna air down to do that. Let me go to 18 since we don't got bead locks. Yeah. Should be good though. Should be fun. So far I've been impressed. You wanna know why we're gonna be able to do this? Because we're mall rated, baby. That's why. We're mall rated. That's why we can crawl this. we made it up that it's because we got bang <laughs> and i just recorded that all without recording it so that's awesome so i gotta restate the whole thing <laughs> so i just realized i didn't push record when i was talking for like a minute and a half so 
Tranny's getting a little hot. <laughs> Amanda's laughing at me over here. Uh, but uh, Tranny's getting a little hot with these oversized tires. So I need to get a fan, aftermarket fan, so I can turn it on and off and let the air flow, right? Um, but we're going to go through this mud puddle and hopefully not get stuck. That recorded? Yeah. Oh, that wasn't bad. That was easy. You just get stuck right here. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Just kidding. Oh, look at this. I think we're almost there. I have no idea though, and neither does Amanda. Can't what, remember. We, we, we don't know exactly where, how far it is from here. I suffer from CRS. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Can't remember shit. No. <laughs> oh, this must be where he's talking about. This will lead to the right. Uh -huh. So we're gonna go to here. <laughs> Look at that. First glance of the lake right here. Woohoo! Honda Ridgeline just made it to Ruby Lake. What? What? That was awesome. Here we are, Ruby Lake. We made it. Made it. Yes. Yeah. Amanda was video videoing for me part of the time, most of the time. Most. So it was awesome. Thank you, Amanda. You are most welcome. And I'm gonna stand up here and put a small hot <laughs> So this is it. Oh, this is cool. Nice shot. So we got uh, we got some marks. I can't really show it, but we're close. Bumped it a little. So this is the way we came up right here. It's quite steep actually. We're debating if we want to go down because the pit, I'm going to call it the pit, is at the bottom of this one. Oh. I feel like you got it. I just don't want to slide into it, that's all. We're going to do it though. Where Full send. Go? full send here because it's going to be around that corner uh -huh. and then it's where it's at so we're going to send it
Okay, this is where the shovel comes in. Hopefully we can get out. Otherwise we're gonna have to radio in for help. It's uh, pretty bad. We might have to radio in anyways. <laughs> That's a, that's a shit. I need a winch. <laughs> I mean, I am a female, but I ain't no winch. <laughs> <God. laughs> Damn, that is uh Yeah, I got that fall almost on camera. Oh, good. Hi ho. It's off to work we go. <laughs> we found the match. We found its capabilities. Don't get stuck on your tire in a pit. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel about this pit. I feel like I've met my match. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. I'll, I just have to be at work at 7 a.m. I know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs eight hours of sleep anyways? Not us. Two. Max. Two We're good. Max. That's what bangs are for. Wow. Loading. No. <laughs> We're loading right now. Um, so, I actually did this in one of my videos down in Utah. When I went off the edge, it's actually in my intro video where I'm like, oh, I had to dig a trench for the front tires to catch because I was off the trail. Kind of do the same thing, kind of like a snowmobile. Cut this down so it's just a nice, nice road coming out. But I'm going to leave a little embankment so I don't slide in. In theory, that should work really good. But we'll find out. Stand by. Everyone's got a little cat in them. Uh, I was too in Houston to see our captain. <laughs> Get some. <coughs> You did good. Maybe. Oh, don't break the shovel. Yeah, don't do that. Not think this is what I was gonna use a saw for. You know, when people say let's go on an adventure, wasn't expecting it to get this exciting. So I have to uh, still dig the rear bumper a little bit, but I got this trench going. The idea is that the tire will get caught on this lip right here and I'll just kind of be able to walk out. But that's all theory. We're about to find out though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's dug. Kind of got a little bit of an embankment built out of the rear bumper. And we are gonna see if we can get this out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes as planned. <laughs> So check this out. We made it out. Just took some preparation. That was, fell off of that, slid right in. Careful of roots, they're slippy. Okay, me and my crazy hair, we made it. Yes. <laughs> and now 
we're going back. So, yeah, so things will get a little slickery, but we'll make it all the difficult stuff is done. So, we're gonna take the easy, nice route home and then air up when we get down and head back. It'll be great. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. It's been a good time and I'm glad we didn't need anybody's help up here. <laughs> Okay, so we made it, airing up the tires right now, and uh, damage assessment here. So, on the way out, on the trail, got a bit of a knock right here, you can kind of see that. That might bump out, I don't know if you can really see it, uh, kind of, but that hole got a nice dent there. And this is gonna be the bad boy over here. Oh, it popped out. That is fantastic. Didn't have to do anything and it popped out. Other than that, I don't think this got damaged at all. Oh, a little bit here, a little bit right here, a little bit there. That's not gonna be too bad. I really think that is all the damage this sustained. I am impressed, I am not gonna lie. So, when your compressor breaks, Good thing you have reserve bike pump just to get to put enough in there to get to a gas station that's like 20 miles away. 